quick tutorial in Schism Tracker for doing FM synthesis and rendering the audio out. F3 to get to the sample list. Normally you'd put in samples in the spot, but today we're going to do some FM synthesis because it's a, it's a little feature that's kind of not not as well known or at least not at least I didn't know I didn't know much about it until I stumbled across it in the manual. And that was pretty stoked. So Alt Shift Z. So I'm gonna go 115 for steel drums, cause that's great. Function Alt Left to lower the octave. Here go down a bit. And dirty sound. And then Alt Z. And then I'm gonna go into the settings, tweak them, tweak the sound to my like. Actually, go to F2, make a little pattern. Control 2 to shorten the pattern because shorter patterns are more fun. And then they loop easier, easier on the eyes. Uh, alt, alt 4 sets the step to 4. Got a little pattern going and uh, I'm going to go to back to F3 before starting it up. Uh, alt I'll Z again and uh, F6, play my little pattern, and then I'm going to change the parameters, see how it sounds. That way I can tweak it real time. Yeah, like when you turn up the feedback, it's, it's real dirty real quick. Just kind of close to what you want, and then tweak it a little bit to your liking afterwards. But anyway, that's that. Let's stop that. And F11... Order list and panning, enter in one sound in a pattern, and then control B is what you want. This will replace the current sample. Because in the manual it says control O links to disk writer and control B saves to disk writer. Okay, what is a disk writer? Well, that lets you save your sample. So when I do control O, the last couple times I've done it on, on this laptop, it just crashed. So. I don't like that setting. I don't use it. I only use Control B from now on, and that that works for me. And then I have a little sample here in my sample list, so I just rendered it out as audio, and the output's kind of low. So then I press Alt M to get to the amplifier and turn it all the way up to 400. And then then I have a more audible. I could probably I could probably do it again. Alt Alt M. Ooh. It's like a DC offset or something, whatever. Anyway, that's my audio. And then, then when I want to save it, Alt T, and then you can give it a name, give it a nice name. FM synth. Save it as a wave, and then you press Enter, and there you go. Wave sample saved. And where it saves is wherever you specified it in your directories under F12. See, I have it on my under directories. I got sample, and there it's it's in there. And now I have audio, and I can I can go F2 or F3, go to my sample list, and then I could go to my directories, and it's it's in here. It's in here somewhere. There it is. FM synth. Loaded in the left channel. There you go. That's why I have it loaded in here twice now. There's a, I guess that's a mono. Yeah, it's the left side. And that's the deal of being able to get your sound out and in and out of the program 